Surprise, a short play written by Mark Harvey Levine. Surprise is a short play which depicts a terrific and relatable comedy showing a ridiculous and ironic twist at the end. This play has been considered as one of the favorites in Harvey's literary pieces. The play goes around the story of a couple, the boy named Pita, who has a psychic power which have him predict what will happen the next two minutes. The girl, named Whitney, being annoyed and tired of Pita because he doesn't even let her finish a sentence and always cuts her off in the middle of their conversation just because he can predict the future, wanted to break up with him. Oh, hi Peter. Does she know you're psychic? He's psychic, you know. I know. I always come here when I'm about to be dumped. I'll have the usual. Dumped? And she wants the blueberry buns and waffles and we both want coffee. I can order for myself, thank you very much. I want the waffles. Damn you. Damn you! I'll be back with your coffee. The opening of the play showed an entire black background, zooming in, showing two characters in focus, which are placed at the center of the stage with a dim light. Childhood. When Jimmy DeFordy used to beat me up, I could feel his punch before it landed. Sometimes you're gonna burn your mouth. If I knew he was gonna break my glasses, I would have taken them off and broken them myself. Both of the characters played their role so well. Whitney have a loud voice, intensifying the feeling she's trying to convey. Pita, on the other hand, delivers his words so well and perfectly timed. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Right, they fight with with my friends, friends, yes. And then I say, I didn't. You say, you, you most certainly, certainly did. did. And then I say, Stop it. that. And it's also Don't boring. say things along with Why me. Why bother having the fight? You know, Their dialogues are full of emotions and captivating facial expressions as well as with gestures. It is also snappy and witty, which could likely confuse non-native English speakers. On the broader side, words are actually pronounced well. The only point to adjust is the fastness, just to conform to those who has English as second language. Aside from the lightings, which is a bit dark, and the tempo of the word delivery, 
The overall play is a blast. It is a humorous short play full of terrific jokes and ironic twists.